guys, I can't believe it. I can't believe how, how, how wonderful and stupid this little strategy is. I've been using it for about a week and a half now and it works perfectly. So you're familiar with the movie Mary Poppins and the song Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious where there's this ridiculous sounding filler word that the you know Mary Poppins or Bert will throw into a situation whenever they really don't know what else to say or there's really nothing else to say. And the whole silly song is about that, about how at least saying something is better than saying nothing and I've been using that in my writing lately because I'm making a new homepage for my blog, I'm putting together new ads, I need more ad copy, I need better headings for my for my blog titles, a lot of different things and I was just running out of ideas because there are some things I'm just not an expert at like sales. So when it says 100% like money back guarantee or something, put your own text here. I go, where's something else I can do? So <laughs> I got this phrase literally from, uh, literally as in word for word from Jeff Sommer's book, uh, Writing Without Rules, where he talks about ending your novel or ending your writing or whatever. And he said, if nothing else, Use the phrase, that a bomb explodes and everyone dies. The end. It's a horrible phrase, but you can go back and fix it. What you can't fix is nothing. And so that's the phrase I've been using, a bomb explodes and everyone dies. Because it's a lot easier for me to start fixing something if I have something stupid there to fix, especially something I'm dissatisfied with. So. I'm writing a new heading for my new homepage on my blog. And I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. And so I wrote, a bomb explodes and everyone dies. And I said, okay, maybe not. There's writing all over the place going off of the explosion idea. Everyone reads, not everyone really writes. And that's because I was working off the idea of everyone dies and the, the William Wallace quote from Braveheart, every man dies, not every man really lives. I thought, you know, people think writing is this mysterious thing. So here's where the magic happens. And I'm like, yeah, not really. Here's where the writing shows up. And I'm like, okay, maybe not. The not so secret journals of, and well, maybe that one might work. But the point isn't that I came up with something perfect. It was that I came up with anything at all because I started with basically supercalifragilisticexpialidocious as a starter word. Except I didn't use the word because the word didn't mean anything. A sentence is packed full of meaning. A bomb explodes and everyone dies. It's, it's a goofy sentence filled with very powerful, dramatic ideas. And so it's easier for me to say, which of these do I want to start with? Not where do I want to end, where I want to end is much further down the line. But at the very least, where do I want to start? And if you have a phrase like that, I believe it can help you get past writer's block at almost any level. A bomb explodes and everyone dies and other ways to beat writer's block. So best of luck to you as you go forth. And I hope that this little tool from my writer's toolbox helps you out as much as it's helped me. Peace out.